so yeah, I saw this uh, yesterday, right? I'm sure you guys are aware. This is the the Gacha Gaming Ready. They posted a uh, Counter Strike live stream. So I was scrolling down to see what would people say. What would people uh what well, would people praise the game? Would people say talk about origin? But praying B side takes over C one day. I imagine. A large chunk of global players invested tons as C was the first to get English release. Being this happened before the Play Store lockdown, it hurts seeing things like this since we are in too deep to start over again. Wow. What do you guys think? It's all about C. Now this one has nothing to do with C, but then the comment is like, same, my C guild is just praying for B side to take over both C and Taiwan before because of Zelong's hands-off management. They were all too invested either time or monetarily in their account to start over from zero on GL. Seems weird that Zelong is hanging onto these regions when Archland is a new favorite child lol. Could be a contracting. Archland. 20 plus hours must be relevant. I know, right? I know. 20 plus hours. It is likely the reason why Korea and Japan is being folded along global into one server is Nexon handled Korea and Japan and their contract expired. Makes me wonder how Zelong's contract was negotiated. Probably longer than two to three years, right? Probably longer than that. So summary of the whole stream, okay, uh, this bright one already seen that. What about C? As usual, C is the abandoned, abandoned child that everyone forgets to invite to the birthday party. Damn! C got, did not get invited to the birthday party. So overall, C will get the client update and all the system changes mentioned in the blog, but not at the same time as Global KR Japan. There will be a few week delay most likely because it's C... Uh, C, Taiwan, and CN. They are not run by Studio Beside. Okay, so they are run by Zelong. Zelong. They didn't forgot. They are not invited. Yeah, they are not invited, right? So yeah, uh, it is what it is. Until C is included in one of these events, I am not coming back to this game! Wow! Because C is not included. Why would you play this game? Right? C. Either commit to global or just quit C. So he clearly doesn't want to play the game. But yeah, it is what it is, right? I feel like I forget something. It's not important. He play again. It's all in the hands of Zelong, so the B-side can't do anything. If C still C is still we want I'll be curious if C is still seeing people spam. The writings on the wall is that Zelong is just milking things for as long as it will go. I'm just in it for the daily until the inevitable shutdown. Wow. Wow. This guy is waiting. C? Shut down. What do you guys think? How many of you guys are waiting for C shut down like him? Is C shut down? What it happened, he not gonna join. Reason cannot catch up, lol. I think it's quite insane that somebody is waiting for the inevitable shutdown. He, he's just in it for the dailies. He's waiting to shut down. <laughs> he's just waiting. For one day, that will eventually happen. But we'll see. You don't want C to shut down? Where do I get drama if they shut down? All will shut down ironically. Not really, if they merge, they will never shut down. If one shuts down, all shutdowns together, you know? Wouldn't B-Side just take over? Uh, I do think B-Side will take over, but I'm not sure what do I mean by even inevitable shutdown, right? So yeah, it is what it is. There's no change to gear management a system I want to go back to the game, but I still have PTSD about managing gears. Okay. So there's that. Okay, so this one is at the end of the live stream. If you guys are not aware, we miss out some of the Q&A, right? So there are some uh, thing about the Q&A. Uh, frequently asked questions. Uh, 100% this is true or not since it's based on the KR live translators in the live stream YouTube chat which I'll rewatch the live stream. Yeah, so the JP localization of character name changes was done because uh, a few of the Korean character names are relatively hard to pronounce in JP. Like who did they change? I know they changed uh, Seo Yoon into something else in JP. Shi Yoon or something else in JP, I think. A few of the names. It's just a name thing. So this is for people that is playing in JP specifically. Uh, the developers originally planned to merge PvP servers to help increase the player base. 
uh, around the time of the global origin update, but the developers came across the world technical difficulties. Yeah. So in case you guys are wondering, if you play, if you guys are playing in uh, global, in case you guys are wondering, supposedly global and JP were supposed to merge so that we can fight each other, but that's no longer the case because uh, they came across a few technical issues. So global players don't have to worry about fighting JP players. Uh, you only fight global players still. The the PvP there's no changes yet as of now, but we'll see if in the future how that is. A post-release English dub will most likely never going to happen. Uh, they are planning some sort of practice mode for consortium. They are currently not satisfied with the PvP balance. Hopefully they will adjust it. They are planning to get the collab IPs, for example, Guilty Gear and Code Gas and Hollow Life to rerun. So that's one thing. Uh, they are also planning to get some, make some mixed merchandise by working with other companies. So yeah, uh, some of this uh, collab I think is pretty good. It can help a little bit. Global Wales managing gears equals to just enchant. So that's one thing, right? Okay, look at this essay. Okay, look at this essay. C keeps getting done dirty. Those rewards are huge. Three awakened tickets is easily close to half a year saving quartz. And two SSR ship selectors is a lot of ship progress made and could easily keep you cushy in the ship department for a while. They should honestly just pull the plug and let C people migrate at this point. I call it mercy killing because the amount of server disparity is ridiculous. Beside, clearly loves and cares for their game, while I'm pretty sure Zalong embezzled money from CS to fund Arch Land. For the stream itself, it's a lot of good stuff, addresses quite a few reasons why I left the game. The effing chess mood, dupe management, ETC, so I might actually come back to give it a try. Another chance by starting over on global. Rearms get a lot easier to do now that there's no dupe and unit data BS. Hopefully fusion cores can be used as consolation bonuses for awakened units because nobody except whales are going to be pulling awakened dupes. Not sure if rerunning Hololife collab is a good idea though. That's an overall bad look to the game since it gives people the idea that the game is greedy and expensive when it's actually quite generous and on the cheaper side. Any C lovers? Any C lovers? Feels bad about Zalong? Zalong worse than Nexon? Wait, Zalong worse than Nexon? Hololife again? Hololife is hype. Everybody loves Hololife, alright? You guys watch Gogura every day, and when, when she stopped streaming, you guys were crying every day. But yeah, I, I feel like, uh, you know, Hololife is good. You're a big Zalong fan. I do think everybody is a big Zalong fan, but at, at some point in time, uh, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I do think that a lot of these issues, uh, a lot of the things that they mentioned, uh, you know, I feel like can be changed a little bit. But uh, he's particularly talking about, let's see, uh, what are the things that I have missed? Nothing here. Yeah, he's talking about this particular one. This is from Pride One. So the rewards here, C server, C server players are not getting it, right? So, with, it is what it is, C server players, you're not getting a lot of these rewards. This origin is only for global, JP, and maybe KR. But yeah, we never know what we're gonna, what we're gonna have. Maybe C server will get something, it's just that Zalong didn't announce it. So, I would say just wait for now and see if Zalong is gonna give us something at all. I do think we're gonna get something, you know, if we ever get that, that thing per se. You shouldn't be too surprised by Zalong. They did okay with Langrisser, but they ran their EVE clone straight to the ground, complete with banning Hong Kong corporations and literally writing different patch notes for Inoi and Chinese to hide the fact they only gave compensation for mainland players. Wow. Yo, what do you guys think about this Zalong stuff? This Zalong conspiracy theory, is it true? Anyone can verify this? Can anyone verify what happened with Zalong in a EVE clone straight to the ground? You just want code to guess? I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure what game is talking about. Is it talking about EVE Online? Hong Kong. Yeah, this is not. Uh, this is clearly not countersign. Some other games that Zalong published clearly, right? You could start now. Reroll for Awaken Xiaoyun, Awaken Xinjia. When the update drop, you're gonna have four Awaken as a newbie. That's insane. I feel bad for C Brothers. They are developing a new game. Yes. Uh, they tease the name administration. The most interesting part of the stream because I think CS is now in great mood for last one or two years. Okay. You're definitely not playing the game if you... <laughs> great mood. Meanwhile, CS giving us 10 free rolls uh, up to 200 in global. Damn. 
Counter Strike is too free to play friendly. Maybe they need to do dupe revamp to get some money. Yeah, what do you guys think of this statement? Okay, what do you guys think of this statement? Counter Strike is too F to P friendly. It's too free to play. Nobody is spending. Nobody is spending. People are spending again. So now they change a little bit. Now they change a little bit, and people say it's greedy. Greed mood. Greed mood one on one. So do you guys agree or not? Is Counter Strike greed mood one on one? Yeah. What do you mean yeah? People that makes mobile games are all in greed mood. Are you sure? Are you sure it's only mobile games? How about big uh, AAA titles, you know, like Diablo Immortal? Free to play friendly, but you won't be on top being free to play. CS need money. Sea soldiers don't surrender, soon you will merge lies. Huh. When is the release? Should I start playing now? Damn. Game is already released for a few months. Okay. Wait, he actually thought it's just started? Yeah, I noticed like a lot of people seem to be skeptical at C server ends along. Can C play on global or need VPN? Huh. He wants to play on global. There's a way to install Counter Strike, yeah. Love the character, but I don't understand everything. Apparently they copied the Genshin constellation system and will no longer be able to use dupes to max limit break units. I don't know how I feel about this, but at least Battle Pass will now give a bunch of Fusion Cross, so that's good. Uh, but that's only for... Will that make it more pay to win though? 60 Fusion Core for players that are willing to spend on, on the Counter Pass, that's a lot. 60, 60 Fusion Core is a lot. What do you guys think? That's like a huge difference. You can't play it if your country has the Counter Side version. Yeah, that's, that's how it is, right? You have to use VPN, but I guess that's like an agreement thing per se. New server, minus 2, minus 2. Is C included? Haha. -ha. No. Damn. C server, guys. What do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think? Like, I feel like C server is, for now, for now, uh, a lot of these things are kind of sad but true, right? But hopefully C server, so long I noticed they, are, they have been pretty active on Facebook recently. So hopefully they'll come up with some statements, you know. I do think that Zalong, uh, if people pressure them enough, the only way to pressure them is on Facebook, I feel like. There's no other way to pressure Zalong. Like how else can you reach out to them, right? They don't respond to email, I think. The last time I did, I got like three months ignored. And uh, they don't have YouTube anymore. They don't have Instagram anymore. So gotta use Facebook. So gotta use Facebook per se. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit sad, it's a little bit unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is.